Hello and welcome to our YouTube page of how to change a battery in a remote key fob. What you do is you turn it over on the back, you'll see a small screw, Phillips screwdriver, and you unscrew the screw and set it to the side. And you break open the key fob by pulling the two plastic pieces together or apart and you'll see the battery. There's a plus and a negative side. Be very uh, observant of the uh, where the plus and the negative is on the battery when you take it out. Pop the battery out, battery comes out. You will notice over here there is a plus symbol. It's very hard to see. If you're changing a battery uh, on an older key fob, that uh, has been on your keychain for a period of time, the keys get dropped and the uh, battery will get loose between these two pieces of metal. The clips that hold the battery in place will get very loose and the little green light, when you press the green light, will not flash. So, if you're experiencing that problem, what you will need to do is take the battery out any which way you can, pry it out. You may need to take a piece of paper, fold it up on either side of the clips, between the clip and the plastic frame. That will wedge these two metal clips closer to the battery and squeeze tighter. Once you've done that, put the battery back in and let's show you what we're going to do here as far as taking a piece of paper. It doesn't matter what type of piece of paper. You just fold a piece of paper up several times and you insert that piece of paper right in that uh, clip right there. Like so. Okay, so we have the battery in there. Then we put the battery in and that will squeeze the clip. To check what you will need to do is you will need to press the button and make sure that it blinks green. If after you've done all that and the battery does not solve the problem as far as the light blinking on and off, you more than likely have a bad uh, battery or a bad uh, key fob. So you will need to go to your dealer and get a new key fob and have that programmed into your alarm system. Once through putting in the new battery, just close the cover and screw the screw back in its original position, like so. Tighten it down. Turn it over. Arm and disarm your system by pressing the lock lock or unlock button to disarm. Make sure that the green light functions. Thank you again for watching Ace Security, acealarm.com video on how to change your key fob battery on your Concord ITI control panel.